Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about image resizing in Psychor. Have you ever visited a web page where once you hit it, it starts loading and the images load way slower than the rest of the web page? It's almost like a curtain slowly unveiling the image. That usually happens when you're trying to squeeze a huge image, a large image with perhaps high DPI ratio, uh, meant for retina display, high resolution, into a small space. So that is the problem that can be avoided in a couple ways. Either, obviously, let's upload the image in the right size, or we can enforce the proper image size by resizing it dynamically on the back end. So no, no matter what the uh, editor uploads to the CMS, the image on the website will be presented in the right size, already resized dynamically. So that way we're not downloading that entire large object. It's being resized dynamically to the smaller image that should be presented on the website and cached to the local file system. That's exactly what Cycro allows us to do, dynamically. Programmatically through code or by adding query strings manually to the static URLs of the images. So what Cycro uh, does is it exposes a series of query strings that we can use to resize an image by appending query strings like W for width, H for height, uh, uh, M, H for max height, M, W for max width, A, S for uh, allow stretching. Uh, there's some caching, uh, uh, there's a caching query string. Uh, there's even a query string to, ch uh, to uh, uh, change the borders that are added when you're using stretching uh, option. Uh, in the color, the color bot, uh, borders that's being added to uh, to resize the image uh, to change the image ratio. So let's take a look at how to do that. So what I have here is a Sitecore 8.1, and I'm logging in as an admin user, default instance I've been using in my other presentations, and I still have these two images from the previous episode on media upload options here. So these two are Sitecore Technology MVP logos. And as you can see here, let's see, let's say checks. So this is the original size of the image. Now what Sitecore allows us to do is to append the query string W, let's say for width, and uh, like I said, H for height. Let's go ahead and uh, enforce H. Let's do 200. Okay. Let's go ahead and refresh the page. Now, notice nothing happened. So, in later versions of Sitecore, Sitecore added a feature called Request Protection. So that's a, uh, a neat feature that was added to prevent Sitecore from, be, from really attacks um, by overloading Sitecore by, uh, from sending a large number of requests for image resizing from an outside source. So before the request protection, we were able to simply add these query strings to the URL and it would get resized for us dynamically. Obviously that presents us a flaw where I could simply write a script to trigger a large number of requests uh, to the image resizing URL in Sitecore and really just DDoS, DDoS it down. So the setting I'm talking about is called request protection. And let's see here, request protection enabled. So this is, this is the setting that's enabling that request protection. The request protection works in a way where Sitecore adds a hash string to the URL, stores the value on the server. When the request for the, uh, when the, request for the image comes in, value is mashed. And uh, if the hash is correct, then the image, image gets resized. So if you're using a control, uh, a Sitecore field render control with um, custom uh, resizing parameters with highest and so forth, um, they will work. However, in our case, since we're not using a control, we're trying to hot uh, link to the image and trying to force the resizing here, that's exactly the kind of request that request protection hashing uh, uh, is preventing. So for the demo purposes what I'll do is I'll go ahead and disable it and let's see that is in our test 
website, app config, and what was the name of the file? It's a nice, nice hint here, Sitecore Media Request Protection Config, Sitecore Media Request Protection Config, there it is. And I'll search for enabled. There it is, and we'll change it to false. Let's go ahead and uh, refresh our show config to make sure that the value got updated. Now, another way you could do that is just simply disable the, the file, but um, what I like to do is to explicitly um, disable the setting. So as, you, as we can see, it's now set to false. Now let's go ahead and refresh our page. Let's see here. There we go. Now, why didn't the H equals 200 work? Well, because it doesn't fit the image ratios. Now, for it to work, all we have to do is we have to add another one of the other magic query strings called AS, allow stretching. And notice now, if we actually highlight the content of the page, oh, oh, hang on, oh, come on now. All right, let's try to inspect it. There we go. So as you can see, the image is taking taking up 500 uh, pixels in width and uh, 200 in height. So these are the uh, notice the white borders on each side. So that's the default color for the borders. Uh, these are well transparent borders. Now you can actually specify the color for these borders. And uh, if we were to change it, let's say to 200 versus 500, it'll add borders on the top and bottom of the image. You can see here, and those border the color of those borders can also be changed. Uh, I believe oh, this is I'm, I'm going by memory now. Uh, border color. Let's see. Let's acid hash value. Let's do the full value. No, no hash. There we go. So as you can see, you can pass it uh, the hex value uh, without the without the hash sign. So there you go. Now, why do we want to use these? Again, for performance purposes and for user experience, right? We don't want our sites to be, our pages to be slow, uh, resulting in negative user experience. Uh, Google said years ago that, you know, if the page takes more than two seconds to uh, uh, load, it's going to take away some brownie points from there, from the search ranking. So there we go. Make sure to use the media query strings to resize the media accordingly and force the media size. Uh, now, if you're using the field renderer control, you can use that through the field renderer control parameters. Uh, in Glass Mapper, you can also pass the custom parameters as well. Uh, with referencing media URLs statically, you will have to remember, you will have to uh, disable the, the hash request protection for that. Um, otherwise, you should be good to go with uh, dynamic controls. So make sure to use that in your future solutions. And if you like the video, go ahead and uh, like it. Put some comments below, perhaps maybe some additional comments with uh, ideas for the future videos, some of the uh, ideas for best practices you'd like to hear about. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips like this. Check out cmsbestpractices.com. And again, my name is Vasily Fomichev, and I'm a Sitecore Technology MVP. And I'll see you next Friday. Over and out.